Hello everyone, my name is Merle and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In our demonstration today, we want to take a look at configuring filtering for Azure Active Directory synchronization. By using filtering, we are going to be able to control which objects appear in Azure Active Directory from our on-premise Active Directory environment. The tool that we're going to use to synchronize objects from the on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory is known as the AD Connect tool. This tool can be downloaded from the Microsoft site. When you run this tool for the first time, the default configuration takes all objects in all domains in the forest and syncs those objects to Azure Active Directory. Now, in general, this is the recommended configuration. But in some scenarios, you may want to apply a filter to control which objects are synchronized from your on-premise directory to your Azure Active Directory. Now, there are a number of filtering options. Let's take a look at these filtering options. You have the group-based filtering option, and this is based on a single group. So what you want to do here is synchronize a single group, but this method can only be used during your initial installation by using the installation wizard. Another option, another filtering option is domain based. And in this scenario, we get to select which domains we want to synchronize to Azure AD. You'll also be able to add and remove domains from the sync engine configuration when you make changes to your on-premise infrastructure after you install Azure AD Connect Sync. Another filtering option is the organizational unit. And this is the one that we're going to be demonstrating. When we use this option, what we're doing is we are selecting the OU that we want to synchronize. Now, everything that you have in this OU in your on-premise environment, whether it be users, objects, those objects are going to be synchronized if you filter based on the OU. We also have the option of attribute synchronization where we can filter objects based on the attribute values of that particular object. And you can also have different filters for different types of objects. What we have here is our active directory on-premise environment. And we said that we're gonna demonstrate filtering on the OU. So we have an OU here called Azure Class OU. And in this OU, we have four users. Our task is to synchronize only these four users that exist in Azure Class OU in our on-premise environment to the Azure Active Directory. The first thing that we do, of course, is to go online, get the Azure, the AD Connect tool, the Azure AD Connect tool. You want to download that tool, unzip it, and you can see here we have the Windows installer for the Azure AD. So what we want to do is to right click click on install. The Azure AD Connect window 
will come up after we answer the security warning here you click on run to say yes we want to run the file and you can see the installer and the files will start the installation you can see the files copying across And as our AD Connect is opening the wizard. So the first screen of the wizard is welcome to the Asa AD Connect. And you make sure that you run the installation tool on the server where the synchronization will take place. You have to agree to the license term. So we're going to click on I agree. Our next screen will carry us to either customize or use express settings. If we use express settings, then we're doing all of these bullet points here. We're going to be configuring synchronization of identities in our current forest on the on-premise domain. We're going to be configuring password hash synchronization, which is the synchronization that we're going to be using for this particular example. I will explain that a little later in the video. We're going to start an initial sync. We're going to synchronize all the attributes and enable auto upgrade. Now remember, we're doing a filter. So we're going to have to choose what we want to synchronize. Let's take a look at customize and see what those settings will be. So the customization settings will be what you see here next to the checkboxes. You can specify a custom installation location. You can use an existing SQL server. You can use an existing service account. You can specify custom sync groups, or you can import synchronization settings. We're going to do. The, we're going to be using the express method. Go ahead and click on install. And here again, we have our user sign in. Now there are different methods for user sign in, and the one, the default one, the one that we're going to be using is the first one which is the password hash synchronization now the password hash synchronization is one of the signing methods and this particular method is used to accomplish hybrid identity what this does is to help by reducing the number of passwords that the users need to maintain their authentication for example if you use password hash synchronization you're going to be using one password to log into your Azure Active Directory and the same password to log into your on-premise for example the same password that you would use to sign into Microsoft 365 which would be an Azure feature, is the same password that you're going to be using to sign into your on-premise Active Directory instance. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to accept that default of password hash synchronization by clicking on Next. And before we click on Next, we also want to enable single sign-on meaning you have one sign-on for everything so we're going to select the option enable single sign-on and continue now at this point you have to enter the credentials of the Azure global administrator so you want to enter the username 
and you also want to put the password in and continue you now need to connect to your directory remember we are in the forest we are in our on-premise forest and we want to add a directory that we're going to be syncing so you click on add directory and here you are asked for the enterprise admin username and this would be the enterprise admin for your on-premise so we're going to put that in and you also have to add the password so once you have those two in, you can go ahead and say okay we're going to continue And in this particular instance, for our lab purposes, we're going to click on continue without matching all UPN suffixes to verify domains. Because all we want to do in this lesson is to show you how to filter your objects from the on-premise Active Directory to the ASA Active Directory environment. Then I click on Next. So you have an option here. Two options. One, sync all domains and OUs. Or in our case, our demonstration is we are syncing a selected OU within a domain. So we're going to click on the second option. Now we want to expand the forest because we want the particular OU as a class OU. So you can do two things here to choose this. You can deselect everything and then select the one you want, which is as a class OU, or you can just go ahead and take out everything. Now we're just going to take out everything here so that you're quite clear about what we're doing. So we're eliminating all the other objects. And the only thing that we're going to be keeping is the as a class OU because we want to synchronize the objects within that OU so that they are synchronized and sent to as a active directory so once they're all out and we can see that the only thing that remains is the as a class or you want to go ahead and click on next to continue and on this screen we have some options select how users should be identified in your on-premise directory and we're going to leave the default Users are represented only once across all directories. And two, select how users should be identified with ASA AD. And we're going to leave the default. Let ASA manage the source anchor. We're going to continue. Filter users and devices. So we're synchronizing only what's in the OU, so whatever is in the OU will be synchronized. We're going to click on next. And again, we have the optional feature and the one that we're choosing is password has synchronization for this particular demonstration. We're going to go ahead and click next. And we need to enter the credentials to enable the single sign-on, so we're going to click on Enter Credentials. And we're going to put the credentials in, which will be the username and the password. And once those credentials are in, you can see that we have a green tick. We're good to go. And now we're ready to configure. We're going to start the synchronization process when the configuration completes.
where we can click on configure and you can see the configuration going across Let's continue once the configuration is finished you will see a message telling you that your Azure AD Connect configuration succeeded and the synchronization process has been initiated so you can go ahead and exit you want to go ahead and make sure that the users from the on-premise environment in the Azure class or you synchronize successfully to the Azure Active Directory users in Azure Active Directory. And once we click on users, we can see the users that we had, Adana, Alice, Ariel, and Barry. You can see here that they are directory synced because we have yes on the directory sync. So that is the process then of filtering certain objects from your on premise from your on premise directory to your as a active directory this is the end of our session and i want to thank you for listening